For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. I'm going to give you three focuses on tonight. And that is one, the babes desire the sincere milk of the word of God. The children eat bread and those who are of full age eat meat. So I want to talk about the milk, the bread, and the meat. The milk is for the babes. The bread is for the children. The meat are for those who are more mature, or the Bible calls them those of full age. Most of the time when I come here to this platform and preach, I am preaching milk, 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 milk. Sunday, milk, 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 milk. Wednesday, I put in a little bread, sometimes some meat. But for the most part, it, it, it frustrates me when I am preaching and teaching, and many times I feel like I'm ministering to some people who don't know the difference between milk, bread, or meat. And then I have those that really think they could handle the meat, but they can't handle the meat. They can't even digest the meat. They cannot handle some of the deeper truths of the Word of God because they're still dealing with the sincere milk of the Word. What is the milk? The milk is the foundational doctrines of the church. If, you're, if you don't have a grasp on what we believe as Christians, you're still on milk. So we see the babes have milk, but the children get bread. A little bit more substance, a little bit more, um, it, it's not as, it's not as um, easy to digest as the milk. The milk is easily digested. Be saved. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He loves you. What is the bread? The bread is something that strengthens you. The Bible says in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10, that the joy of the Lord is your strength. So when you start learning about the praising and worshiping God, you're moving into the children's bread, the things that make you strong. Prayer, is, it makes you strong. Oh, we're growing up now. We start to understand prayer. Oh, this is the, you're not a babe when you know how to pray. You begin to go into your secret closet, Matthew 6, and close the door. Your father who sees in secret, he rewards you openly. The meat. The Bible says the strong meat belongs to those who are of full age. When you start talking about those who are mature, you're talking about the issues of discernment. Uh, three things can cate uh, categorize those who are mature. They understand revelation. Right. And sometimes I teach and I preach and it's a revelation. For instance, here's a very elementary revelation. When you see marriage in the Bible, uh, this is a metaphor for Christ and his church. The church is in Christ. God reconciled the church unto himself through Christ. And so God got us through the person of Jesus Christ. Well, well, where's the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is God in the life of the believer. Well, this is understanding for those who are of full age. Don't try to uh, demystify the tri triunity or the trinity. Um, you need to go back to the sincere milk or at least handle the bread before you try to explain the triune God, that God is one, but he manifests himself in three persons. Father in creation, Son in redemption, Holy Spirit in regeneration in the life of the believer. As I am three in one, I am a father, I am a husband, I am a son. But there's one, one of me. You've got to be a man before you're a man of God. You've got to be a woman before you're a woman of God. And how about those who want to be great in God, but they can't take any constructive criticism. They can't take a covering really being a covering, a pastor really being a pastor. There are a lot of people who have joined the church, but I'm not their pastor. They come here to hear me preach. What I mean by that is, if I tell them something and I correct them, they can't receive it. Babe. They got attitude. They pout, they fall out on the floor, they throw a tantrum and whatnot. Nobody can tell. Listen, if there's no one in your life who can tell you what to do, you're not under anyone's covering. You do what you want to do. You big and bad. You hear from God. You know, but you don't bring yourself to submission. What are you eating? In my conclusion, make sure if you are a babe, drink your milk. Get your milk so you can be strong and grow. And as you grow, let's go on, amen, to perfection or maturity, hallelujah, by eating the bread the things that strengthen us, and then we'll grow up and become those of full age, not needing to be taught, come to church, not needing to be caught, support the work of God through your giving, not needing to be taught again, it's important that you pray and sanctify yourself and have some personal time in your Bible, feeding your spirit. Sometimes you got to turn off the hell of vision and get off the hell of phone and actually feed your spirit so you can develop as a strong person in the things of God. All right.